Hi everyone, my name is Gabriel and this is the Hour of the Raven, your channel for everything Ravenloft, RPG, Dungeons and Dragons and Horror. Today we will explore the secrets of Hazlan, a land full of ancient mysteries and horrors, where the Red Wizards perform strange arcane experiments and rituals. Are you ready? Determined to fulfill our part in the profane contract signed with Inahira, we started our journey to look for the whereabouts of Tara Koliana. In a Hashiman village, the community leader agrees to help us and take us to the outskirts, around a bonfire. He adds the mysterious Quasup root to a long pipe. After lighting it up, he passes the pipe to us and says that the smoke will make us see the secret to seek in the flames. Mesmerized by the flames, we begin to glimpse strange horrors, and our mind loses focus on the search for Tara Koliana, getting lost in forbidden arcane secrets and ancestral mysteries. Hazlan is an ancestral land full of mysteries. Situated in the southeastern deep of the core, Hazlan culture and society stands out among the realms that surround it, as well as the propensity of its ruler to the practice of the arcane arts. In the distant past, the domain of Hazlan was surrounded in the east and south by inhospitable lands. In the east were the dreamlike nightmare lands a realm where reality itself seemed to bow at the behest of the fearsome nightmare court. To the south was the dreaded domain of Blutspur, a region devastated by constant electrical storms and inhabited by indescribable horrors. After the Grand Conjunction, the lands of Blutspur disappeared and the trails and paths that led to those dangerous lands now end in a mysterious wall of mists. Marking the former borders of Hazlan with Blutspur, we can find the Black Spire, a twisted peak of dark and purple glassy stone. The geographic landmark seems to attract and absorb electrical discharges, and emits a mysterious hum, colored by the arcane scholars as the song of the obscene hunger. Those who approach this cursed peak and hear its buzz may fall unconscious and wake up in the mysterious lands of Blutspur, with no means to return. To the southeast, from the mist where Blutspur once stood, the Mistmoss River, or the Felgemonsk, emerges. From this tributary of the Sunset River, dangerous crustacean creatures called Tule emerge and make navigation on the Sunset River quite dangerous. These creatures look like a mixture of crustaceans, insects and snakes, and show cruel intelligence, setting ambushes for unsuspecting sailors and swimmers. Sinister rumors point that some of these monsters develop psionic abilities, becoming even more dangerous. Some speculate that these aberrations may have their origins in the domain of Bloodspore, which may indicate the existence of a path through the mist that allow creatures from that domain to invade the lands of Hazlan. Another dangerous and horrendous predator that can be found in the region is the Crenshaw, huge felines that hunt across the plains. These beasts have been magically transformed by arcane experiments and have the skin of the skull cut into large flaps, which separate to show the exposed skull to intimidate their prey. Not even spirits are safe in the land of Hazlan, for creatures known as ghost eaters or spectral marauders roam the spiritual world and feed on restless spirits they encounter. Some claim that these spectral devourers, when hungry, may materialize in flesh to satisfy their hunger on the living. Perhaps these horrendous creatures are the threat that surround the hill of a hundred pets on the borders of Nova Vaza. This place is considered haunted by the Hushman, but countless evidence and mortal remains indicate that the restless spirit that supposedly inhabited this ancestral circle of stones sometimes devoured the unsuspecting explorers of the region. 
but not only did remote, wild, and ancient ruins of Hazlan hide horrors and dangers. Next to the home of evil wizards, supernatural guardians are kept to protect their havens and secrets. Darkened beasts are ordinary animals transformed by magic into terrible winged creatures to obey the commands of their arcane masters. Not even other humans are spared from these terrible experiments, and many wizards create guardians monsters known as the Chosen. These creatures were once humans, but after terrible tortures and arcane experiments, they become deformed to gain claws, fangs, leathery skin and a violent mentality, aimed at defending the interests of their masters and creators. In each city of Hazlan, we can find arcane fortresses and laboratories, known as the Tables, fortified and rectangular structures, surrounded by minarets and a central dome. These small forts are used as a prison and laboratory for arcane experiments, serving as the basis for Hazlik operations when he leaves his property Veneficus. The name of this fortress, known as the Tables, is a reference not only to the flat rectangular shape, but also to the fact that many of the prisoners entering it are destined for the table of arcane experiments. But not only arcane horrors plague the domain of Hazlan. The city of Sliva is the main point of entry for goods in Hazlan, a mercantile center and a gateway for the traders coming down from Nova Vaza. The circulation of goods and wealth makes the city a desired target for countless criminal groups. One of the main guilds of thieves in the region is led by Keman Kerbasi, a horrid caliban. Kerbasi commands his men to engage in various criminal operations while also spying on political intrigues and sabotaging other criminal groups. The truth is that Kemen Kerbazi is a false identity, and the true leader of this criminal guild is Elena Kerpatis, a Mulan wizard and former apprentice of the Red Academy. Kerpatis had been wrongly accused by the former local governor of Sliva and was sent to the table for her death, but somehow she gained Hazlik's trust before being transformed and destroyed by one of his experiments. Kerpatis was nominated as Vrylok, assuming the post of governor of Sliva, once occupied by her unjust accuser, who was sent to the tables to suffer in her place. Elena now lives a double life. She is the governor of Sliva, and magically changed her form, assuming the identity of Kerman Kerbasi as leader of the Thieves' Guild. Close to the city of Toyalis, across the Sunset River, is the enormous property of Veneficus, Hazlik's current residence. The palace is surrounded by farms, pastures and a small village. The home of Hashemi's servants, who work exclusively to meet the demands of the palace. The main structure is surrounded by walls and houses an exotic garden, with plants grows and derived from experiments conducted by Hazlik. The beauty of the garden is only supplanted by its danger and lethality, with plants that exhale poisonous vapors, carnivorous plants, or trees whose leaves cut like blades. The garden acts as a defense of the fortification, and not even those who work on its maintenance dare to wander in it at night. The interior of the fortress is marked by opulence and luxury and houses several wings aimed for arcane experiments. Strange sounds and lights can be seen inside, accompanied by the screams of the unfortunate ones who are sent to Hazlik's tables of arcane experiments. In addition to the Red Wizard and ruler of Hazlan, Beneficus is also home to Eleni of Toyalis, a Hashaman who became a Red Wizard and rose socially in power to the scandal of Mulan society. Although many suspect that Eleni is a lover of Hazlik, Eleni was born to a family of Russian laborers in Toyalis and was greatly revolted 
by her poverty and the servitude of the Russian to the Mulan. At the age of 16, after seeing her parents arrive beaten and humiliated at home, she revolted and fled in the night with a goal to discount her fury against the first Mulan who crossed her path. The young woman crossed her path with Hazlik. Elodie did not stand a chance against the wizard, but her audacity and hatred towards the Mulan fascinated Hazlik. He decided to take her to the Red Academy and test her for arcane talent. Elodie showed great talent for magic and quickly mastered the arcane arts. Hazlik and Elodie's relationship became closer and he became her mentor and confidant in a master and apprentice relationship. Elodie discovered that Hazlik, despite being the great leader and ruler of Hazlan, harbored an intense hatred against the Mulan and she suggested to the Red Wizard that she should be allowed to shave her head and wear the Mulan tattoos as an affront and challenge to the high society. The scandal of this act shocked the high society of the Mulan, and Hazlik, enjoying this small act of revenge, decided to make the situation even worse, giving Elani ample powers to rule on his behalf, responding only to the Red Wizard himself. He even secretly named Elani as the heir to his throne. Elani awaits her time to ascend to the throne of Hazlan and plans her revenge against the Mulan society. She is always accompanied by a bodyguard named Zaglev, a man with a bestial appearance. Zaglev is no man, but her familiar, a hawk turned into a man by Hazlik's powerful magic. Recently, she discovered that Hazlik's magic tattoos sometimes move on her body and form grotesque images of skulls when she is watching them. And now she avoids mirrors that can show her images of these grotesque forms in her body. The city of Toyalis, built in a rocky crater, is considered the heart of Aslan. The town location was the center of countless ancestral civilizations, and each time one of them disappeared, its successor built a new city over the old ruins. The secret to the popularity of this site may be deeply buried. A powerful mystical energy seems to emanate from the rocks, and those who sleep in Toyalis sometimes seem to be overcome by a false sense of superiority and security. Diggers looking for ancient and forgotten secrets will discover ruins of many ancient civilizations that become progressively less human until they reach the mysterious ruins of the insect-like Elkot. In the depths of a chamber filled with human bones is a mysterious black obelisk, the source of these strange energies. This object is a repository of the ancestral knowledge of the ancient race of the Elkot, and those who dare to touch this sinister lodestone can unlock ancient secrets, but risk being taken over by madness. In Toyalis is located the Crescent Hall. The great, the great theater where the Mulan High Society appreciates its theatrical place. In the city is also the Iron Citadel, the seat of the Church of Bane in Hazlan. This imposing sanctuary is the most important temple of the lawgiver in Hazlan. The fate of Bane rigid hierarchy is led by a high priest who bears the title of Himesk Nalev or the Divine Feast. This high priest currently resides in the realm of Navavaza, but below him are Chu Pav, the highest authority of the church in a nation. The Pav of Hazlan resides in the Iron Citadel of Toyaris. The elderly Hakon Adamsen is a man of great power in Hazlan, perhaps supplanted only by Hazlik. He commands the Iron Faith through its rigid hierarchy, which includes archbishops, bishops, domer bureaucrats, and finally contours, the most basic priests who walk in the temples. The fanatki Hakon Aronsen keeps the Church of the Lawgiver under strict surveillance through the Iron Inquisition. This secret group 
is comprised of infiltrated agents selected by the PAV. Fanatics who have already proved their undying loyalty to the Church of Bain. They act as spies and monitor and investigate the members of the Church, searching for anyone who is weak in his convictions or willing to disobey the strict orders from their superiors. The city of Ramulai is the most recent city of Hazlan, built by Hazlik himself after the mysterious events of the Grand Conjunction. Immediately after the mist dissipated, Hazlik selected a group of people and led them to the Veil of the Red Wizards, where he used the arcane powers to erect the Red Academy and the city of Ramulai from the ground. The Red Academy is Hazlan's arcane learning center, where for two decades Hazlik has been training countless wizards. The Academy is full of rooms for arcane experiments, and no cruelty is beyond the limits of the quest for arcane knowledge. The air around the academy seems to be energized by arcane emanations, and many prisoners are taken inside to never be seen again. The city of Romulai was created around the Red Academy to support its needs, and its inhabitants live to serve the interests of the Red Wizards. Those who observe the lines of the stone-covered streets and the rocky houses and structures may find that the lines form strange patterns, as if emulate symbols of some powerful arcane ritual. These lines channel arcane energies across the city to a powerful ritual that Hazlik is researching, a ritual that will drain energy from all Hamulai in order to destroy the entire Mulan people not only in Hazlan, but also in Hazlik's homeland, the distant realm of Tei. While Alman is lost on the effects of the fumes of the Quasu brute and the sight of the flames, we feel that our search for Hazlan's dark secrets has not gone unnoticed. The dangerous red wizard Hazlik felt that we have discovered part of his arcane secrets and uses powerful spells to discover who dares to unravel his plans. We feel Hazlik's mind connects to ours, while he invades our consciousness, searching for our identity and exposing our secrets, we also see fragmented memories of the Red Wizard. Join us, subscribe to this channel, activate the notifications, and together we will unravel the past and secrets of Hazlik, a red wizard from Tei and dark lord of Hazlan.